Oh, welcome back uh, to the Minder Cracker server. We're back on the Minecraft server. Yay, we're back. Yay. I was gone for a few days for Thanksgiving. And then before that, the server was down for a few days. And I just spent all day, all darn day, working on this episode, like for the last eight hours filming this thing. And so we're going to have kind of a strange episode, and it's going to be a little shorter than normal. So what happens? Uh, I was like talking, hey, look at this. I made progress on the sheep pen. Oh, and now we're collecting stone. Uh, this was meant to be kind of a, now we're collecting gravel and redstone and, uh, oh, it's going to be real hard to keep up and uh, lapis and coal. This was meant to be kind of like a behind the scenes episode of all the things to, that I do to uh, prepare for episodes. Hey, there's some diamonds. All the things I need to collect, there's some iron. <laughs> I can't keep up, but I messed up my audio. There's some gold. We need some gold. Yeah, we definitely need that gold. Get that gold. Get all that gold. There's one more. Go get that. I messed up my audio. I uh, I started. Oh, now we gotta smelt all the stone for the stone bricks. Oh, we need glass. We need sand. I can't keep up. It's too fast. Okay, smelt the smelt the sand. We need glass. Um. Okay. Now what am I doing now? Oh, I need to repair my shovel that I damaged. Oh my gosh. Oh, that that view will never get old. Oh, we need the most stone. Slow down already, will you? And we need some quartz. We need some quartz, good. I spent all day recording this thing, and we need to repair my, my feather fallen boots. They were about to break. Uh, with all that experience, I got mine in the quartz. Okay, I think it slows down a little here. Oh, I come by to check on the Enderman repair, or the Endermender shop, and Etho left me 15 diamonds, and I was just checking here to see uh, how, much, uh, how much I charged, so I know how much dirt to use. He left me 15 diamonds. That means five stacks of dirt. And look at this wasteland at Ethocore. It's just, it's like this everywhere around his place. Just pockmarked, scarred, creeper blast all over the place. Um, so I actually spent six stacks of dirt. And I'm actually, I'm gonna give him some free Endermender service uh, in the future, just for something he helped me out with a little bit later. But this is the after, after I'm finished. See how much smoother and nicer it looks? Look at that. And uh, I basically did that for the whole area. Oh God, now it's gonna start going fast again. Okay, I, I owe him a gold or a diamond for the uh, the death games kill. Anyway, I spent all day recording this and I messed up my audio. I turned on my computer and I didn't turn on my uh, preamp that plugs into my microphone before turning on DX Story. And so DX Story defaults to like a different thing. Here, I owe one to Anders and I wanted this achievement. So I decided to throw the diamond at him. Yay! Achievement! Diamonds to you! Uh, anyway, like, the <laughs> DX story was set up wrong, and when I went to set it back... Yeah, yeah, Anders, I haven't forgotten. I'm gonna get you back, sucker. Uh, when I went to set it back, I didn't set it back to the right setting. Uh, oh, and I'm out of bones. Need some bone meal for all that white stained glass I've been making. Need more wheat to breed cows and sheep. Need to replant it. Oh my gosh, going so quick. Slow down. Uh, Ender, I need, obviously need to kill wither skeletons. Uh, I need more cows for more steak to eat because I was running low. Need more sheep because we're going to need a lot of wool for all the awesome pranks we're going to do. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, oh, and that, yeah, here's me killing the steak from the cows I just bred and getting some leather too. What am I doing now? Oh, okay. I'm making some blast resistance armor. Can't imagine what that's for. Oh my gosh, it's about to slow down a little bit. Thank goodness. Uh, but yeah, I lost all of my voice recordings for the entire day of all these little clips I was recording. And here we are back at the site of my first house, the Death Starter House, and I'm gonna try to resurrect Geronimo. <laughs> I, I, I read about this ritual uh, on the internet where you could uh, use some soul sand and some wither skeleton skulls and you could resurrect a dead horse. Uh, well, let's find out. I even use a uh, an enchanted golden apple on this. That's eight blocks. I kind of regret doing that. It wasn't, didn't really help, and it didn't really hurt me. Uh, the resistance is kind of nice, but it's not really vital. What you really want is the uh, the regeneration, which doesn't last that long with the apple. So you have to take a regen potion pretty quickly anyway. It only lasts for like 30 seconds or something. But here we go. I, you know the thing I find hardest about the wither fight is just hitting the guy. Because he flies up right in your face and he like flies behind you just slightly. So if you're looking straight up, you can't hit him. You have to spin around and then re-aim. Yeah, I find it really hard to hit him. When I used Seth's uh, 
Ender, not Ender, the, the Wither Killing thing in the Nether Hub, or above the Nether Hub. You can kill the the Wither in like, oh, and then I Ender Pearl away uh, to get some health back. Look at all those enchants, and it's not really helping that much. But uh, yeah, when I killed him in that thing, and he couldn't move, man, he goes down in like 10 seconds when you can actually hit the guy. And his wither debuff lasts so freaking long. It's so annoying. But here I am running around. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not really going very well. I think what happened is, I think they're harder now to kill. Because the protection enchants, blast protection and protection, the normal protection, they got nerfed. They don't do as much as they used to. Uh, I think what I would need is at least three pieces of blast protection. I've got two pieces now. I think when I did it in season three, I killed two of them solo. I think I, I think I had three pieces of blast protection. And maybe that was the difference that made it uh, easier to sustain the combat. Because look at here, I'm like, I'm shooting almost straight up, and I can't hit the guy. Oh, but I've, I finally got my uh, my breath back after all <laughs> that quick montagey stuff. Yeah, throw a potion on yourself, and now I'm starting to think this isn't gonna work. Because I'm so low on potions, and he's only at like 70% health. I think I get him all, all the way down to half. Am I gonna die? Am I gonna live? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. There's the potion. I've got one left, and at this point I'm like, I think pretty soon I'm like, okay, I need to get out of here. Yeah, right about here, when I get stuck in the water. I'm like, nuts to this, sucker. I'm out of here. There's the ender pearl landed, and we get away from him. Yay! And now this next part's gonna be really bizarre. Because I called in Etho. And welcome back to Terraria. 1.2 is easy. Woo-hoo! <laughs> so I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a conversation with Etho. I'm gonna make up half of it. Ready? Oh. Yeah. Ooh. That's some fancy mithril gear you got on right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Terraria references. Yeah. What are you gonna say next, mm. buddy? Yeah, we're talking about, oh, the Wither. He's right on the other side, and he's going to be uh, invisible range, Etho. Uh, maybe buff up now. Oh, yeah. At least the eight-minute ones. Oh, you want to buff up now. That's a good idea, Etho. Maybe I should have prompted you for that. All right, take your potions. So you said you got him to half health? like? Yeah, I got him to half health, but uh, he's. Pr I think he's healed up. I'm not exactly sure. We'll find out. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll find out on the other side, buddy. This is almost like a lot. This is so weird. <laughs> we had a real conversation. Cool, cool. And then, like, trying to recreate. You got arrows and yeah, everything? Yeah, I have an arrow. <laughs> All right, let's go take a beating. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's weird trying to recreate half the uh, half the conversation in real time. Okay, Etho, go get him. Go get him, buddy. Watch your step. <laughs> Watch your step. Okay, um, are you trying to protect anything around here? Nope. It's all... Available okay. to be destroyed as long as our potion doesn't, our, not our potion, our uh, our portal. As long as our portal is still intact and we can take it to uh, get back to the other parts of the world. All right, here we go. There he is. Go get him, Etho. Go, go get him. Oh, this is fun. Were you fighting him on ice? Yeah, kind of. See all the, the ice that got exploded? <laughs> it was kind of a problem because there was water beneath the ice and then you can't move. Not a good idea. Hmm. Yep, yep, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. I see some baby chickens around yeah. here. Oh, that's right, because I, I summoned a bunch of chickens to distract him. But he completely... He's he's blowing up a lot of things. Yeah, he completely ignored all the chickens. It just ran off in a random direction. And there's also a ravine right there, too, which makes it even more hazardous. Okay, here we go. Let's go get him. Here we go. Oh, oh. Here we go. Get him, Etho. What about... Um, nice. Yeah, yeah, thanks. You're going to make me do all the work, Etho? Oh, oh. <laughs> Get him! I hate how he gets right in your face. Yeah. It's so annoying. Tell me about it. By the way, I'm totally not shooting you. I'm, t I'm shooting the wither. Oh, I wonder if he hit me or if he was just uh, trolling me. Oh, and he's see, you okay? He's already down to half. It is so much easier. Actually, I'm taking a lot of damage. With two people. For one thing, he he's easier to hit when he's not right on top of you, and so... Day. Like, your effective your sword damage just skyrockets. There he is. And then once you can hit him with your sword, he's just toast. You got him. You got him. Oh, baby. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah. Etho helped me. Oh, and this... At the beginning. I thought you got that already. 
No, that the it's good. The it's good. Uh, the achievement you saw me get you, earlier. I could have sworn I saw you got that in chat. Nope, that was the that oh, was the achievement for summoning the wither, not for killing him. There's two different ones. Mm, there must be one name very similar to that. Thing. Yeah, it's the one for summoning him, buddy. Uh, but because Etho helped me kill this uh, guy, I'm gonna repair some more of his land, Endermender <laughs> style. You got the star? It didn't blow yep, up. Yep, I got the star. Thanks, Etho. Here's to have some potion. Good, good. This debuff is just stupidly long. It's like the poison debuff. It just lasts way too long. <laughs> yep, there we go. Yay! Mm. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they just see something they like and they go right for it. and then Yeah, that's true. Go under the blocks out somewhere. Yeah, that's true. That's true, Etho. Good point, Etho. Yep, uh-huh. Oh, there's the ravine. Watch out. Don't fall in the ravine, Etho. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you know, if, if I I can supply you like. Oh, we're that's right. We're talking about Endermender. He's full of dirt. Yeah. If you want to just go to town. Yeah, he's gonna supply me with the dirt. I was. <laughs> it never stop. I was talking about lowering the cost of the Endermender to two diamonds per stack, but having the person supply the dirt. That would be cool. Yeah, it would be cool. I would probably use it more if you did that. Yeah. Uh. I will do that. <laughs> It'll be more diamonds for me. So in the long run, I think more people would use it if it was two diamonds per stack. That's it. You got the iron for your beacon? I do. Awesome. Yep. Okay, thank you, Etho. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, that was Etho. And now um, <clears throat> I just have to expand the uh, the beacon base, the pyramid with, what was it, like 24 blocks to go from one full beacon to two. Very economical. So there's the, there we go. There's two full beacons. Or, or you know, the pyramid. Two full pyramid beacon bases. And here's making the thing. Yay, crafting, Minecraft, yay. <laughs> and then placing it. Which one? Yeah, I'm like, hey, which, which one did I fill? Which, where do I put it? Then we need an ingot. To fill the thing up, yay! <laughs> uh, I think I go with resistance, resistance two. I'm not sure which one I really want: jump boost or resistance. Eventually, I want force. So I don't have to make these hard decisions. I'll have everything but strength, because uh, I don't really need that. I don't think. Anyway, I think that <laughs> that about wraps up this weird, chaotic, jumbled up behind-the-scenes episode of all the stuff, all the gathering that goes on before a building episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and on Reddit and on Twitter or however else you choose to get in touch and leave your feedback. See you guys later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs>